Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I've taken care of some stuff down here. Oh good, that didn't break my sound. Sorry, um, I've taken care of some stuff down here. I've got myself the, wor the basic workings for what I want to do. I'm going to quick set up this. So these are aqueous accumulators. I've designed it in the system so that when I have the remaining steam engines in place, I will continue to receive all of the all of the upgrades I need, um, or all of the water I need. So the only thing I have left to do, okay, this is where I am. I'll mark this here. The only thing I have left to do is continuously fuel them in some way. So I think I know how I'm going to do it, and I think it's going to be via tree farm. But I will get to that in a bit. I'm going to quick show you guys the recipe for liquiducts, because I made them off camera. It's copper and hardened glass. And, and I'm going to make something special. So I went into the Twilight Forest, and I was exploring, poking around, and I didn't exactly have the capacity to set up my whole recording system when this happened, but I encountered a Hydra. Beat it. Won in the end. Um, however, I need some... or I was looking for maze map focuses. Now, why was I looking for them? Well, let's see. Let's quick find something that processes into oak. Where is oak? Um, need four, or I need eight of them, so I need 32. So I'm going to make something special from the Twilight Forest. I'll use 32 of you. From the Twilight Forest mod. So there we go, there's crafting tables. And if we put, arrange them like that and put the maze map focus in the center, that gives us an uncrafting table. Now, how does this work? <clears throat> oh, God, sorry. How does this work? Well, if you place an item... Oh, that won't work. Okay. If you place an item in, you can spend one level per item that goes into the crafting to get the items back. So, you can uncraft things. Certain things can't be uncrafted, but certain things can. So, let's see what can be uncrafted. And the more durability the item has lost, the less you get back from it. So you guys get the idea. So I'm going to go, and I'm going to grab one more silver, and I'm going to make the last of the, uh, or another batch of three of these. Another three steam engines. And let's go down and hook them up. So that they can get going. And then we'll have some more power going. Let's thwack these. Okay. They're outputting two Minecraft rules per tick. So now we've got six per tick. And I'm going to actually smack that up. And yes, that is a fair amount of power I just lost, but in the end, it doesn't bother me that much. Let's split this stack. And now this system is not perfect, but for my purposes, it'll work. I'm up to eight now. For the time being, I just want to get this thing charged. That's all I really want to do. And here we go. Here's... Here's the room back here where I'm doing all the aqueous accumulator stuff. So let me quick make a mark on the map. Let's see... Uh, engine room. So we've got a mark on the map, and that's something that I will need for what I'm going to do. Now I have two ways of doing a tree farm. I have the planter. 
and I have the farm. I have the actual, um, what is this thing called? Oh, what are you? The multi-structure, or the multi-block farm structure for, uh, um, forestry? Yeah, forestry. So these will run off of anything that's combustible, including wood, which is exactly what I want to power them off of. I need to make two more in a second, or in a bit, but I can wait. Because at the moment, I'm producing eight, and while this is charging, it's not charging as efficiently as possible. So I'm going to take care of a little bit of groundwork, and we'll be back when I'm ready. So for the time being, I'm actually going to work on a different, or slightly different project. However, let's see. Actually, yeah, I can. Let's see, pulverizer, powered furnace. Powered furnace goes there, pulverizer goes there. You get set to orange. You get cleared. You get cleared. You get set to blue. And you clear. Although I could put a chest there and... Actually, yeah, I will put a chest there. So, what am I doing? Well, that's simple, actually. I am going to make, once I'm done clicking buttons furiously, a biogener. Wow. Oh god, that's the biome page list. I'm going to make a bioreactor. Which is going to require me to actually go... <laughs> uh, can I... Oh, I bet I can do that, okay. But I'm going to go and smack this open and gather all the stuff I need. So I'll be back when I'm ready, guys. Okay, I've got a fair amount of what I need. So let's look at the bioreactor. I, however, forgot some, one very important step, so let's get to that. I walked to the wrong part because I was slightly distracted. So anyone that's been with me for any amount of time knows about my uh, my way of generating blaze rods infinitely. So we're going to test something at some point, basically right now. And I'm going to make those and restart the process. And we're going to test the uncrafting table with magma creams. Okay, doesn't work, so they did fix that. So I do need to actually go and find green slimes. I could have sworn as soon as I said that I heard a green slime. Now, I could make a green slime. Now, how does this work? Well, I need a crystallizer. So... Let's look at, to see how you get a crystallizer. Cauldron, stick, and a string. Well, conveniently, I have all put one of those things in there. And then there's the other one. So I've got a crystallizer. Let's go ahead and drop this down right here. However, do you require a heater? Let's see. The other thing is, is I need to get lime green. And a bucket of milk. Slime ball. Okay, so I need... Cactus green. Conveniently, I happen to have that. And a single bucket. So I'm going to go find a cow and grab a bucket of milk. So I have my bucket of milk. 
However, I'm going to head over to this village that I have marked, because I don't remember why I marked it. So, I'll be back when I get there, and if there's anything actually interesting. Otherwise, I'll be back at my house after this cut. Or, I will be immediately next to another village. I quite literally turned and looked and found this. So let's poke around here for a little bit. Are you, yep, you're the kind of tower I want. Because you're the Thalmic Tower. Okay, glowstone... Um, I don't need rotten flesh, so I can get elementum. Hmm. It does not look like there is any... blacksmith. So no purpose for me to loot this town. Okay, ne on to the next village. So, we have a slightly new problem. And that is powering the crystallizer. And, alright, it's about to be night time, so I don't have the capacity to do this just yet. So, I will address how to do that in the morning. First, however, I am going to store a lot of this crap and then quick demo some stuff. Oh, no, I want that. I can stay there. And let's put... Oh, Let's put all of this stuff that needs to go back in here, in here. And the garnet. Hmm. I wonder if I can do something. I'm going to pick this up. And I'm going to... I don't have an item pipe. Okay. I'll, I'll at least move this down here. So I can pour everything through it. So let's quick demo a feature of the induction smelter. If you smelt it with sand, or if you smelt with stand and an ore, it smelts two of them. Let's go ahead and drop that in there. Let's grab all of this copper that needs to be processed. Let's see how this is doing. And you're still building up a charge. Impressive. Most impressive. Let's run that through there, and that through there. Okay. And once that's done... Well, it's going to be night time now, or it is night time now, rather. So let's go ahead and head back up and sleep. And then we'll get to heating the crystallizer. So, sleeping through the night. Do 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 do. Monopoly. Do 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 do. I've got that song stuck in my head for some reason. Hooray! I say that like it's a bad thing. It really isn't. I love the song. Um, and I can store this here. So we need to heat the crystallizer. And for that. We need a furnace heater. We need insulated coil. How many of those do we need? Six. Okay. Since we have iron, we have a relatively easy... You know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I've got all of this in here. So, let's do this then. Stack and a half. Not a stack and a half, but you get the idea. So, there we go. We've got all of the insulated co- I see you there, spider. Okay. We've got all the coil we need. And now we need two lead ingots. For each one of these heaters. Okay. We've got a single heater. I need more lead at some point. I'm going to crack this open. What tool do I use for this? I guess I use pick. Or use a pick. Uh, 
And now... We're going to need to set up something outside. Come on, spiders. So, what are we going to need to set up? Well... Let's check, because there's a few new ways to generate power in factorization, as far as I can tell. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Hmm. There's the steam turbine. The solar boiler. Laden jar holds power. And the solar turbine. So let's look into the steam boiler. For that, I need a fan and a motor, which requires a magnet, which requires a very, very large number of things, including sulfuric acid. So, how are we going to do this? Well, let's see. I need a lot more lead than I have. So this is a new and unique problem to me. However, we're going to get all of this started for, well, we're going to get as much of this started as we can before I take a quick break to remedy that issue. So let's look into making this. Full battery, sulfuric acid, two gunpowder, one coal, and a water bottle. Seems simple enough. Two coal. That goes up there. Uh, or two gunpowder and one coal. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to head over here and fill these water bottles up. And I've uh, set up a new berry farm. Not that I really have much of use for the other ones. Or use for it now. Now I'm going to go and I'm going to grab the stuff to make another thing of sulfuric acid so I can demonstrate something. So let's go ahead and here. Should have, I just need one more coal. And I should have, there we go, two gunpowder. Now I'm going to demonstrate one thing about sulfuric acid. You can drink it. God, does that hurt. It takes away half of your health, and it completely depletes all of your hunger. Then again, to be fair, you did just drink sulfuric acid. So, let's go ahead and grab four of these, and make ourselves our battery. Um, if I could remember how to do that. more iron. Battery. Fully charged. And we got a fully charged battery block. Awesome. Now I'm gonna go and gather much more lead, because I'm going to need a lot of it. So I'll see you guys then. So I'm back. Oh, sorry. So I'm back with more lead, and more lag! 100% more lag. There we go. So... Lead... Lead wiring. That's simple enough. I only need three to make what I want to make. However, I'm going to sleep through the night quick. Ooh. Or not. Well, let's see. Now we've got lead wiring. So let's go make ourselves a magnet. This will take um, some amount of charge, 40% charge. Okay. 
And there are ways to charge it back up, and I'll get into that when I need to charge it back up, but for the moment I've got all of the magnets I need. So let's quick make ourselves our fan blade. So we need a motor. For that we need four insulated coils. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves another set of insulated coils. There we go. And we got the motor. Just need two glass panes. Let's see how what time of day it is. Oh no, don't step on the pressure plate. I should definitely at some point make my house larger. Okay. And I need one of our iron bars. Now we've got the steam turbine. So let's go ahead and toss all of that there. Toss off all of this, and I'll drop the magnet in here, and I can grab that and that. So we've got the steam turbine, and now I'm going to wait until the next morning. So morning, unlike November, has come. That That's a reference that probably not many Milkifo will get. But, oh well. So let's go mess around with our fancy new toy. And let's grab some buckets. Bring more buckets. Well, that was fun. Oh look, yet again, stuck in the floor. Wish I would just phase through the floor and end up in the basement of this house. <sighs> okay, almost done. Almost. There. Like that. I would much rather prefer doing that than what I do the, most of the other time. Okay, let's set this up right over here. Hmm. Okay, that should work. Nope, nope. Give me that back. And now let's quick grab the milk and the lime dye. Milk, lime dye. Okay. Now, let me guess. You need water. Hmm. Okay, let's go get it water. Also, if, if the steam turbine doesn't need water, I'm, I'm going to have words with Neptune Pink. Not that I know him personally, but, you know, I would be very confused at a steam turbine that doesn't run off of water. Okay, let's head back over here. And this is just going to be a temporary solution. I am going to move this into a building at some point. Let's put that there and that there. Gives me a water bucket. Mm. 
I'll be back in a second when I know how this works. So, I'm back, and we need one other thing. We need solar boiler. So let's go ahead and pop this out of here. And let's go ahead and grab ourselves some horrible, horrible lag that's about to make me walk into some into a pit. And then grab ourselves the components we need for this just solar boiler. And one more view. And we're going to need something else. Okay, that's not what it is. We are going to need mirrors. Simple enough. And let's go ahead and make this solar boiler. And now, there they are. Let's grab half a stack of silver. And for these, and this isn't going to be in no way the most efficient way I can do this. It will, however, work. So, reflective mirrors. Alright, so let's go ahead and put this steam boiler, or solar boiler, whatever it was called, there. And now let's put a steam turbine on top. And drop this here. Drop that there. And these will automatically align to point at the solar boiler. And as it gets... Or the more mirrors, the stronger the charge. And that will generate electrical power. So, we've heated this up. And now this is going to very slowly, over the next 20 real-time minutes, start processing. Yes, 20 real-time minutes. Now, we have at least started the power generation. And you can add more furnace heaters to the array, to this, to heat it up faster. But since it's already heated up, Actually, it might be less than 20 minutes. I forget what they changed the, the the time to. I know once upon a time it was 20 minutes. And the more solar panel, or the more reflective mirrors you have, these mirrors, the more efficient this system will be. But we've got this started, so I'm going to go wait out the minutes and come back when I have slime balls. So, other than the lag that's happening... Come on. Stop lagging. I apologize. That's, uh, that's actually a downside of using this custom pack, but... We're almost done, and I've lost 13 levels of wizardry. 13. Because of said lag and creepers. I got creepered. Twice. Luckily, I didn't lose anything other than levels and some pride, but... So, this is almost done. If we hop up here, we can actually see that it's forming inside. There we go, five slime balls. So, all of this... To make one single solitary little thing. And what was that single solitary little thing? Oop, there we go. Two of those, two of those. Half of that, half of that. That's to make the bioreactor. So let's go ahead and head back up and quick grab something. Um... 
aqueducts and redstone energy conduits. I need bio generators. So two of you. Two of you. Eight of you. Six of you. Minium stone. And the remainder of those. Okay. So let's go ahead and make those. Head down here, grab all of this. Make those, make my blaze rods. And get to uh what did, oh I needed a furnace. Whoops. I also needed a furnace. Like I had said. Um I'll grab the no, I don't need the transposer at the moment. I can't believe I don't have a furnace pre-made. Okay. Let's just make eight of, eight of them then. And quick make this up here. So we have a biofuel generator now. So let's grab... Hmm, hopefully I can use those. And actually I'm going to grab a stack of apples to test something. So let's go on and head down here to the engine room. And I'm going to test a machine. This machine. Is this the... This is the reactor, okay. So I'm going to place that in the wrong spot. I'm going to put the biofuel generator there, bioreactor there, and that. Let's go ahead... Okay, can't use that. Or the apple sapling. Okay. However, let's go quick grab something I know I can use in it. So what this is... Uh, what this system will allow us to do is convert saplings directly into Minecraft jewels. Certain types of saplings, as you guys have seen, you can't use uh, Biomes of Plenty ones. And I think it allows you to use a bunch of other stuff as well. So let's try out a few of them. And this is by no means an actual um, intended long-term power solution. This is just, I want to mess around with this. These are from Natura, so I don't think they work. Well, the pads might work. But let's head down. And quick use these so that I can wrap up this episode, because this episode has been going on for roughly 30 minutes. Nope, doesn't use those. Doesn't use those. Okay, so it created an amount of that, and it has created... Oh, wow. Oh, you hit maximum power. Okay. Well, that's interesting. So, because this is at maximum power, this will not run. It, it will keep its internal buffer going. And that'll finish up its, its own internal buffer. So for the moment, I have completely and totally filled up an energy cell. So I'm going to remedy that at some point, but 
I will do that between episodes as well as well as mine some more resources and uh, begin setting up a new I or the groundwork for the tree farm that I'm going to set up. So I will see you guys next time.